Hello and welcome to my next video. On this video we are counting down 10 more fighters. This time going from numbers 420 to numbers 411. So who will make up these 10 fighters? We are nearly 600 done. The video I do tomorrow will mark 600 fighters completed. Um, and then I'm going into the top 400. So let us go to the first fighter on this particular video. Um, this is fighter number 420. We start off this video in the light heavyweight division with former longtime champion Victor Galindez. Victor Galindez beat two world champions. He had a total of four fights against world champions. And Galindez fought a total um, overall of 43 rounds against champions. Now against Hall of Fame fighters, Victor Galindez beat no Hall of Fame fighters. He had no fights against Hall of Famers. Um, and Galindez fought no rounds against Hall of Famers. But he did have quite a large title fight record. Victor Galindez had a total of 14 world title fights. He also hit double figures in defences, coming in with a total of 10. And Victor Galindez fought a total of 183 title fight rounds. Now against pound for pound rated fighters, Victor Galindez beat two pound for pound rated fighters and he had a total of four fights against pound for pound rated fighters overall throughout his career. Now in fights against rated fighters champions or Hall of Famers, Victor Galindez um, comes in with a round figure of 20. So Galindez um, is, um, you know, Kind of remembered as a uh, being uh, quite a very good light heavyweight champion. Um, you know, not to me an all-time great fighter, but a very good light heavyweight champion, as he is regarded by many people. So, on to a dangerous fighter in number 419, okay? This fighter was called Al Hostak. Al Hostak, okay, beat a total of three world champions. Um, Hostak had a total of eight fights against world champions, and he fought a combined 62 rounds against them. Now, in Hall of Fame fights, okay, um, Al Hostak beat one Hall of Fame fighter. He had a total of five, okay, five fights against Hall of Famers, and Al Hostak fought a total of 36 rounds um, throughout his career against Hall of Fame fighters. Now, in world title fights, Al Hostak had a total um, of six world title fights. Hostak made one title defense, and he fought a total of 36 title fight rounds. And against pound for pound rated fighters, Al Hostak beat two pound for pound rated fighters. And he had a total of seven fights overall against pound for pounders um, in his career. And fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers. Um, this dangerous middleweight fighter comes in with a total of 18. So Al Hostak, he's a bit one of those underrated middleweight names. Good resume, good wins. Um, good career all round, really, Al Hostak. So he's fighting number 419. A quick drink before we go to fight number 418. And it's down to flyweight, okay, to a fighter called Salvatore Buruni. Now, Salvatore Buruni, okay, beat three world champions individually. Uh, Buruni had a total of seven fights against world champions. And he fought under 100 rounds against them, coming in with a total of 86 overall. Now, against Hall of Fame fighters, Salvatore Baruni beat one Hall of Fame fighter. He had two fights against Hall of Famers overall, and Baruni fought a total of 18 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. Now, in world title fights, um, Baruni had three world title fights. He made one title defense, and he actually fought 43 title fight rounds. And against pound for pound rated fighters, Salvatore Baruni beat one pound for pound rated fighter in his career and he had a total of three fights overall um, against pound for pound rated fighters and in fights against rated fighters champions or hall of fame fighters um, Salvatore Baruni for his whole career length comes in with a total of 17. So we're still not at the big fighters yet. The big fighters are still to come. Where they will place you will see as my countdown goes into the mainly the top 200 where you know, the bigger fighters are, but there's still some su some surprising fighters to come with some incredible stats, even on the stats I've selected for these videos. So fighter number 417 is a fighter called Bermondsey Billy Wells. Now, Bermondsey Billy Wells um, beat a total of four world champions. He had 13 fights against world champions overall, and Bill, Billy Wells fought a total, um, coming in at 125 rounds against champions. Now, against Hall of Famers, uh, Bermondsey Billy Wells beat one Hall of Fame fighter. He had a total of five fights against Hall of Famers um, in his career and fought a total of 55 rounds 
against Hall of Famers. And in world title fights, uh, Bermondsey Billy Wells had no world title fights. He made no title defences and fought no title fight rounds. So again... The latest fighter of many, okay, who never even got a world title shot. Against Pound Pounders, he beat one Pound Pound rated fighter, and he had a total of 10 fights overall against Pound Pound fighters in his career. And Bermondsey Billy Wells, as a part pre rating era fighter, still comes in with a massive total of 31 fights against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers. So here's a fighter who mixed in very high company um, in a quite a large number of fights throughout his career. He places 417. Now, in 416, okay, one of the better cruiserweight champions in boxing history today, okay, is multiple time cruiserweight champion Carlos De Leon. Carlos De Leon beat a total of four world champions. Um, De Leon had a total overall of 11 fights against champions and fell just shy of the 100 round. Uh, champion mark coming in with a total of 99 now against hall of fame fighters he beat no hall of fame fighters he did have one fight against a hall of famer that is the great evander holyfield of course he is much higher in the countdown you'll see when he comes up uh carlos still and for eight rounds against hall of famers and in world title fights this multiple time cruiserweight champion had 16 world title fights he made a total of eight title defences in his various reigns, um, and Carlos De Leon fought 154 title fight rounds. Now, in pound for pound is beaten, okay, Carlos De Leon beat no pound for pound rated fighters. He did have one fight against a pound for pounder um, in his career. And Carlos De Leon, okay, in fights against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers, um, Carlos De Leon comes in with a total of 15 fights overall. So De Leon is in 416, okay? The cruiserweight division is still quite a young division, not as young as minimum weight um, or light flyweight, etc., but still a young division. So on to fight number 415, okay? His former light heavyweight, um, Freddie Mills. Freddie Mills beat one world champion. He had a total of three fights against world champions overall, and Freddie Mills fought 35 rounds against champions. Now, against Hall of Fame fighters, Freddie Mills beat one Hall of Fame fighter. He had a total of three fights against Hall of Famers overall, and Freddie Mills fought 17 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. Now, in world title fights, Freddie Mills had three world title fights. He made zero title defences, and Freddie Mills fought a total um, coming in at 35 title fight rounds. And against pound pound rated fighters, Freddie Mills beat one pound pound rated fighter. And he had um, two fights against pound pound rated fighters overall. And in fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers, um, Freddie Mills comes in with a total of 15 fights. So Freddie Mills had a large career, okay, compared to many modern fighters, but overly didn't fight overly too many rated fighters. Um, in reality, considering Bermondsey Billy Wells was part pre-rating era and he over 30. So, Freddie Mills is 415. Okay, let us go on to fighter number 414. Okay, and that is another very good fighter called Bruno Arcari. Now, Bruno Arcari beat two world champions in his career. Um, Arcari had a total of three fights against world champions and he fought 35 rounds against champions. Now, against Hall of Fame fighters, Bruno Arcari beat one Hall of Fame fighter. He had one fight against a Hall of Famer and fought 10 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. Now, in world title fights, okay, Bruno Arcari hit double figures coming in with 10 world title fights. And Arcari made a run of nine title defences um, overall. So, oh, I don't seem to have uh, timed that slide very rapidly. Yeah, but Bruno Arcari... Yeah, it was quite good. So, anyway, on to Black Bill Eladio Valdez. Um, Eladio Valdez beat two world champions. He had nine fights against world champions and for 89 rounds against champions. And Black Bill Eladio Valdez, the flyweight, beat no Hall of Fame fighters. He had one fight against a Hall of Famer and for 15 rounds against Hall of Famers. And in world title fights, Eladio Valdez had one world title fight made zero title defences and fought 15 title fight rounds. And against pound for pound rated fighters, Eladio Valdez beat no pound for pound rated fighters. He did have two fights against um, pound for pound rated fighters in his career. 
Um, and fights against rated fighters champions or Hall of Famers, um, Black Bill Eladio Valdez, had a massive total of 38. He was one of the best flyweight contenders of his time. He did mix for lots of the top rated contenders, um, and he was a very, very good fighter indeed. I do apologise for that last slide being cut short. Uh, I don't know what happened there, but never mind. Um, but Bruno Arcadi is 414. Very good fighter he was. Black Bill is fighter number 413. Right, I'll get back in the zone, okay? Let's go on to fight number 412. Um, and we're going back to the pre-rating era again, okay, to a fighter called Jack Root. Now, Jack Root, okay, beat a total of six world champions. He had a total of 13 fights against world champions overall. And Jack Root fought 100 and two rounds against champions. Now against Hall of Fame fighters, Jack Root beat one Hall of Fame fighter. He had two fights against Hall of Famers, and Jack Root fought 16 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. Now in world title fights, okay, Jack Root had a total of three world title fights. Um, he actually made zero title defenses and fought a total of 34 title fight rounds. And against pound pound rated fighters, okay, Jack Root beat six. Um, pound for pound rated fighters in his career and he had a total of 13 fights against pound for pound rated fighters overall and in fights against rated fighters champions are all of famous even though Jack Root is a pre-rating era fighter, uh, so his number would be way higher, he still comes in with a total of 13, which matches many of these so-called pound-pound top 10 fighters now, even though he didn't even have ratings for his career his number would be nearly treble that Probably, more than likely. So, on to fight number 411, okay? And that fight is called Mike Twin Sullivan. So, Mike Twin Sullivan, okay, beat a total of two world champions. And Sullivan had nine fights against world champions overall. And he comes in having fought a total of 101 rounds against champions. Now, Mike Twin Sullivan beat one Hall of Fame fighter. He had a total of eight fights against Hall of Famers and fought 86 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. Now, former world champ Mike Twin Sullivan had four world title fights. He made three title defences and he fought a total of 78 title fight rounds. And against pound for pound rated fighters, okay, Mike Twin Sullivan comes in with a total of three fights, uh, three pound for pound rated fighters beaten, sorry. He had a total of 17 Fights against pound for pound rated fighters overall. And Mike Twin Sullivan comes in having had 10 fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Fame fighters. So, again, apologies for the Bruno Arcadi slide. Okay, slight mistime on my part. The first one I've done. Uh, I don't even think I did that on my last top thousand. I did the full one. Uh, but never mind. Okay, that is uh, video 420 to 411. The next video tomorrow, the first 600 are done. Um, I'm getting there slowly but surely.